friends, Jewel back with another astrology video, and I wanted to talk about Moon, Navile Moon in Sinistry. What happens when we have this kind of rare connection? So, Sinistry is chart comparison. When we put two charts next together, next together, oh my word, next to each other or on top of each other, and we can then analyze the connections between two people and see what's going on. How do they bounce off of each other? What are some of the themes that are going to happen in their relationship? So, um, Naviles are very interesting in Sinistry. They really indicate a, um, a joy factor or a c completion factor. Um, purposeful energy. It's, it's kind of a spiritual connection when we have Naviles going on in Sinistry, but not in a kind of deceptive, disappointing Neptunian way. So, um, in this case, it, it's really about um, shared purpose when we have uh, the two moons in uh, Navile or Binavile, uh, either a 40 degree or 80 degree angle to each other. So these two find tremendous acceptance and buoyancy in each other. This is a very joyful connection when we have this one going on. There's a fearlessness to this aspect because they are so uh, apt to trust in each other. They feel that they have found a safe haven in the other person and understanding between them become it comes easy, it comes fast, and it's very natural. So they create an environment for each other where the other can grow easily and um, be supported. And growth is really the basis of why this aspect works so well in Sinistry. They inspire each other to enlarge in their scope of how they think how they feel. Their minds are very open to each other's influence because there is this easy, easy sense of trust and devotion and um, intimacy. Because intimacy really comes from trust and from sharing and from being open. And this, there's a very um, childlike connection when we have this particular one going on in Sinistry. It's just simply easy to understand emotionally where the other person's coming from, to sympathize with that, to support that, and this really results in the two people feeling that that support has resulted in their individual growth, so they grow very similarly together as a couple. So they're very much um, uh, united in that quest for mutual growth, and that comes from this environment that they create between them that is just this, uh, you know, trusting stew of um, uh, help and support. So um, this connection really tends to increase the emotional intelligence and the emotional capacity of the two people. Um, you know, the, the lack of fear that they have, the bond, the trust, the intimacy, it's just a really good recipe for uh, feeling that the other person is easy to be close to and easy to know and easy to sympathize with. So, um, Naviles can be weird in Sinistry because sometimes we can see the other side of the Navile come out. And this is where we have such an expectation or such a futuristic sense of what could be between two planets in Sinistry that we're looking for proof. So instead of just the natural trusting and the natural support that you typically see with Navile, sometimes it can come out as the other side because all aspects have a duality to them. So in expecting too much, in fearing a letdown, uh, sometimes you can see two people setting each other up or for failure, trying to trap each other, or to, you know, kind of, oh, see, see, I knew it, kind of thing. It's more rare 
It depends on what the two planets are and who the individuals are. Typically, this is a very good contact, but you have to look at how somebody's moon is aspected. If they have a very distrustful moon, or if it's a very um, a kind of a prickly moon, if it's, for instance, in difficult aspect to Pluto, they could, um, you know, show some of the characteristics of the difficulties that we see with noviles. Usually, noviles are an influence that will, a lot of times, override those issue, those personal issues between two people, because there is such a sense of shared perfection between those two planets. So. Um, it's a spiritual and an emotional connection that just comes really easy between two people, the understanding. And they very well may complete each other. You know, that sense, you complete me, or that, that uh, line that drives me crazy, because really nobody complete you can complete you but yourself. But this connection can give you a sense that their um, emotional way of being is very much a companion to your own. So in that, you can get that sense of completion. But you can only complete yourself, ultimately, everybody, everybody. So I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I will be back with more super cool astrology videos. I do love your requests. Um, this was a request, and it was a good request. It was a good idea. This is one that um, you are not going to find descriptions for anywhere else on the Internet. And um, a lot of my Sinistry videos are like that. Um, I really get into the minor aspects that other astrologers don't touch and if you want to know real astrology and the deep astrology and uh, some unusual and unique astrology then this is the channel for you. So yes I do private consultation. You can find me on the internet at truthinaspectastrology.com and I will be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye bye.